Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. talk to you about giving ducklings niacin and I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly here's how it's spelled if you want to correct me in the comments totally go ahead I'm not the greatest at saying names of vitamins and supplements anyway the benefit of this supplement slash vitamin is for ducklings it really helps them prevent getting angel wing angel wing is a condition that if that ducklings can develop and it means that their wings will be like spread up like this and they won't be able to put them down hence the term angel wing because it looks like their wings are like angel wings so that is the number one thing that I have read about it helping prevent and it is also just really good for them as they're developing their beaks and their feet and all of their joints so I actually ran out <laughs> and so I was really sad that I have not been giving it to our ducklings since they hatched I want to say about a week ago I'll have to look on Facebook and check that for you but I'm pretty sure they hatched about a week ago to two weeks ago so I would have much preferred start giving it to them right when they hatched but I didn't have it so I ordered it on Amazon uh, I get the powdered kind and the recommended dose is um, five 500 milligrams per eight gallons of water. But I uh, give my ducklings one gallon of water a day. I don't feed them that, I don't have as many maybe as someone else does that has, it was Miser Farms that recommended that. Anyway, I don't give my ducklings eight gallons of water a day, they just need one gallon. So what I do is there's a little scooper in this and I will give them two scoops of the little tiny scooper on their food. And I will show you that now and I will show you the ducklings. And I just wanted to reiterate the importance of this vitamin for the ducklings because I personally have never had a problem with angel wing because I read about ducklings and read that this could be a problem. So I just sort of did it without testing it out for myself if though if they would get angel wing or not you know so I've always been doing it this way and so I've never had the problem of angel wing and on that topic I will say if you're getting an animal it's so important to read about them before you get them or when you get them grab a book about the animal that you are raising and that's kind of how I've learned everything is I just I order a book like how to raise chickens um, I like story story uh, it's a brand, Stories Guide to Raising Chickens, Stories Guide to Raising Ducks. I have a lot of their books, and um, they've been really helpful. And I like to learn all that I can about what I'm raising while I'm raising it. So, yeah. Anyway, I try and just pass on the information that I'm learning. And this is one of the big ones that I've read about in multiple different sources, and I'm sharing it with you today. So, let's do it. Oh. And you don't have to really concern about an overdose because it's a water soluble thing and ducklings are always playing in water. So it's very unlikely that they will overdose on it. So if you're really worried about overdosing, you could probably read more on that. But me personally, I don't feel like I overdose my ducklings by doing it this way, sprinkling it on their food. Like one of my kids was doing a project. That's funny. They are getting very big. 
This is Petey. Let's look at his legs, or her. Looking really good, as you can see. And the last one that hatched is the tiniest. But they are uh, a little over halfway taller as the bucket now. If that makes sense how I just worded that. Let's take them outside. I bring them inside every night still. I'm not sure how long I'll be doing that. Probably when they can start jumping out of the container. When they can start jumping out of the container, then I will leave them out all night. I put their water on this upside down stool because they were getting their hay really wet in here. It doesn't really bother them, especially because it's been nice and warm. If it was cold outside, it might be an issue. You might lose chicks due to chilly weather. It's been very warm. We're still, we're kind of at the tail end of summer, so it's not cooling down quite yet, but it's definitely not as hot as it was, so it's really the perfect temperature for these ducklings in here. And they have a nice little area to run. I'm so happy with how Petey, Petey's legs healed up. They look great. That's Petey right over there getting some food. Not the big one, but the smaller one. Seems to be doing just fine. And when ducklings drink, it is so, so funny. They need to get their bill all the way into the water to help their nostrils be clean and clear and free of debris. They are totally cute. So that's why they will eat their food and then drink. Eat their food and then drink. So they should always have water because they won't be able to digest their food properly if they don't have water. I'm also going to let them go for a swim today, so I will put that on this video. So you can see the size difference of them all in the pool. That little one that hatched last still has a little junk on its head from its egg, but it's finally fluffing up. Took it a while though. Took it a while to fluff up a lot. <laughs> and we haven't lost any more chicks so far, so we still have 15. We lost one, 16 hatched. We lost one, but we still have 15 now. And I'm waiting to get rid of any of them until I know which ones are males and females. And then we will probably actually process the males ourselves. And I will pick a few, I think I'm gonna keep two males, depending on the ratio of females. If we have like 14 males, then obviously I won't be keeping two males. But if we have maybe like five males, then we'd probably keep two males. 
because then the ratio of females would be just fine. But male ducks can be kind of mean to the females, so I don't really like to keep more than one, honestly, because they can be kind of feisty. Yeah, we had to put Franken duck down. Hmm. Franken duck was my favorite duck. It's in the freezer, so if we ever have to eat him, we can. might sound sad, but we do our best to raise things and keep them healthy. And if we need them for food, then that's why we're raising animals. We're raising animals for food. Why do they raise their heads up like they, they tilt their heads up like that? When they're drinking to get the water to go down. All right, let's go to get you guys off. <laughs> 